look so beautiful today. And... <laughs> what? What? I'm sorry. I guess I pictured my little girl's wedding a certain way. I used to worry about telling you what to expect. You know, on your wedding night. <laughs> but you and Robert have already... Mother, please! I'm sorry. You're right, sweetie. I know it's a different world. All fun all the time. <laughs> But look at you. You're like an angel dropped from heaven. And you've always been that for me and your father. Thanks, Mom. I better go. That phone book for Aunt Florence is a good idea. <laughs> oh, my, we're supposed to get started in five minutes, and I haven't seen Reverend Stevens yet. Peter? Yes, Mama. <laughs> You picked up Reverend Stevens this morning, didn't you? Well, yes, of course I did, Mama. I have no idea where that rascal could have gotten to. But I'm on it. <laughs> did Peter come in here? Yeah, he's in there. Peter! Come on, Peter, I know you're in there. I'm very busy. <laughs> What's going on? He, he was supposed to pick up the Reverend guy and nobody can find him. Peter, come out there right now! No! I can see you! <laughs> what did you do to him? Oh, uh, Reverend Stevens. Somebody was supposed to pick me up. I had to hitchhike. <laughs> Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, gee, who did I pick up then? <laughs> Peter? Are you in there, Peter? Yes, Mama, I am. Come on in. Oh, hello. Peter, we found Reverend Stevens. You can stop looking. Oh, thank goodness. Everything all right in here? Yes, everything's fine, Mama. Everything's great. Hey, I think it's wedding time, isn't it? Places, everyone. <laughs> oh, good luck out there. are gathered here today in the sight of God to join together in marriage Robert Charles Barone and Amy Louise McDougall. If there is anyone here who knows any reason why these two people should not be joined in holy matrimony, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. <laughs> We will begin this morning. Excuse me. I need to say something. 